Segment 4, Fermat's Spiral. Segment 4A, Ancient Petroglyphs. Any logarithmic spiral, also called a pi spiral or a spira mirabilis, can be read as a Fermat spiral. If you take a stick and draw a regular spiral into the dirt with it, the mounds and valleys will form a duality that corresponds to the definitive trait of a Fermat spiral. A Fermat spiral has an S shape at its origin. However, as I say, the difference between the central valley and mound of any spiral in the dirt will form this duality in any event, even in a standard logarithmic spiral. As such, all the oldest spirals to be found carved in stone as petroglyphs or left on rocky plains as geoglyphs share in common the same Fermat trait of a central S pattern. The Newgrange stone in Ireland and the massive monkey glyph of Nazca thus display the same characteristic trait of the Fermat vision of a logarithmic spiral. Likewise, peppered throughout the petroglyphs of the plains and desert tribes of Native Americans, we find multiple examples of this exact same form of spiral, the Fermat version of a logarithmic spiral. We can see these occur both clockwise and counterclockwise in the rock arts of various areas. However, their use at these locations as markers for making astronomic observations is well accounted for. The ancient sign of the spiral might thus be considered a sacred symbol of alignment. Segment 4b, the Norway spiral. A much deeper modern mystery to the minds of most is the cause and meaning of a very strange blue light that appeared over the sky in Norway in December 2009. As of yet, there has been no plausible explanation offered for the cause of this extremely odd and very obviously unnatural event. At first, the press claimed it was a Russian test missile that had gone off course. The Russians denied it, and it has not been mentioned again since. However, the Internet remains awash with theories and questions, all begging for answers where it seems none will come. The Norway spiral event was not a Russian test missile, of course. However, we do not know what it was. What caused it, what its purpose was, remain the subject of only marginal fringe investigators who wave pejorative claims around as proof for theories involving weather weaponry, specifically the Alaska Harp Antennae, by claiming the elite drained our inner ionosphere into the outer ionosphere. If it was naturally caused, such as saucer-shaped lenticular clouds, we cannot even say. All we can indeed say with certainty is to describe the photographs and video people shot of this event as it occurred. It began like a blue spotlight, then the focal point of the light beam expanded into a massive Fermat logarithmic spiral, then the central hole expanded open more and more until finally the spiral dispersed. This we know happened. This we can say with certainty. Too many people saw this event occur for it to be denied. But beyond this much, we have absolutely no idea. Not only are the images so striking for being in such sharp focus and vivid detail of such a strange and anomalous event, but they record further the morning after this event when the apparent spiral wisp of blue smoke that appeared to be emanating from the core of the Norway spiral remained, mostly undissipated, suspended in weak winds, and it remained a spiral cloud there for the rest of the day. The event of the Norway spiral remains entirely unexplained, but the deeper mystery is really if this spiral that we saw in the sky above Norway in 2009 had been seen before in the skies above North America by the tribes people living there in ancient times. This mystery remains unanswered. Segment 5 21st Century UFOs Following the Norway spiral in December 2009, there has occurred a series of strange sightings of seemingly amorphous shapes, 
or strangely holographic in architecture forms. Unlike the flying saucers imagined in the 20th century, we have been confronted with the very real mystery of these new sort of flying aircraft designs in the 21st. First, in 2010, above the skies of Moscow, a massive black tetrahedral craft hovered over the city for a long enough time that thousands of Muscovite residents witnessed it. Later that day, in 2010 still, the same phenomenon was recorded again, only this time the huge black tetrahedron was slowly rotating, hovering in the air by night, and paused over the Kremlin building itself for a much longer time. In February of 2011, another UFO was seen hovering over extremely restricted airspace above a city. However, this one was not so easy to identify as the Moscow Black Tetrahedron. This UFO was filmed by multiple people from multiple vantage points, and all of these videos sync up. Nevertheless, many refuse to accept the validity of this event, citing the possibility of video fakery. However, in light of the video evidence, what we can describe is a small, solid, steady, white light shining orb that descends slowly from the sky hovers for 23 seconds above the dome of the rock in Jerusalem Israel and then flies off suddenly at a rapid rate of speed in the videos shot from a distance there is a bright white flash as the UFO ascends again there is no explanation for either of these strange events and they remain for now some of the great modern mysteries of our time.